It's Rob on the Road, discovering the stories that capture the unique spirit of Northern California. Here's KVIE's Rob Stewart. We're taking you 300 feet underground at Sequoia National Park, deep inside Crystal Cave. And look at that. We are inside the Crystal Cave here with Joel Despain. Joel, good to see you. Thank you for coming today. You are a cave expert here with the National Park Service, and this is absolutely unreal. What created this? Caves like this are made by the movement of water underground. Uh, groundwater is naturally just a little bit acidic, and this marble bedrock that the cave forms within is susceptible to that acid. That little bit of weak acid slowly actually dissolves the stone and carries it away and leaves these voids inside the mountains here in the park. There's a couple of more rooms you want to show us, so let's go check them Sounds out. Sounds great. All right, great. Boy, it's really tight and damp and cold in here, Joel. This is actually the narrowest place along our tour route. This is a channel cut by a flowing stream that used to be up in this upper level of the cave. Oh, wow. But it does get bigger up ahead here. The, here in the dome room, we have a very large stalagmite that back in 1918, when the cave was first found, reminded park staff of the Capitol Dome in Washington, D.C. So the park had been founded for more than 30 some years before this cave was discovered. Correct. And what do we have here exactly? These are called rimstone pools. They form in naturally flat places on the cave floor. The water pauses and pools up, and then a little bit of that rock is deposited on the margins. So the dams around the rimstone pool actually grow and form. The pool makes its own dam, and they grow bigger and deeper over time. And it's still dripping. It's still being created. This is beautiful, the organ room. The organ room has some of the largest cave formations inside Crystal Cave, and it also has these beautiful sparkling crystal faces. These are calcite crystals, and that, that it's these sparkling crystal faces that the cave was originally named for. Oh, Crystal Cave. Indeed. Well, it's all been fun, and we want to thank you, Joel Despain, for bringing us here. My pleasure. Thanks for coming today. To one of the most popular places at Sequoia National Park.